Right now, set it to out. Feel the bone there. Up against the bone. Straight back, like that. Now you need to go down along the back bone. Okay? Nice and slowly. Like that. Now we'll trim it up, go over here. Okay, now, you want to be careful where you finish your fillet, okay? Because as it goes down here, you go to what would be on beef, the rib, okay? Now, some animals, like a roe deer, you can take it all the way out down the neck and you can still pan fry it and it tastes good. Like some of the fallow and the animals that tend to go tougher, you want to finish it about here because it'll just go tough, okay? Now you need to trim off the excess sinew. See that under there? So put your knife underneath it like that. Nice sharp knife. There's two ways of doing it. You can just, with the point of the knife, lift up like that, or you can put the knife. So you go like that. Okay, or you can put the knife underneath like that and wiggle the knife a little bit like uh, taking the skin off a fish. I think you'll find that the easiest way to do it is the way I do it, which is like this. So we're just with the point of the knife, taking a few bits out and running down the sinew like that. See? Okay. Once done that, I need to take all the meat that you've left on the ribs off. Okay, so the best thing to do is go down the bottom of the two ribs, all the way up to the top like that. Then get a hold, put the knife underneath the top rib, pull it down like that, like that. Yeah. So. This can be used for trimmings, mints, casseroles, syrup puddings. Don't waste any meat, yeah? Gold and gold. Okay, 
there's meat down here on the neck. There's no point trying to bone it out individually, you might as well just sheep bone it. Quite often, there's meat around here, meat around here isn't usable because where the, the hunter has taken the throat out, it's exposed to meat and it's all gone dark. So, just take the knife down, like that, very carefully. Cut that, it seems to be a lot easier to control. Like that. And it's just a little, now this is not like lamb neck fillet, a lamb neck fillet you can pan fry. Venison neck fillet, my throat is tough, probably because most venison animals do a bit more work than lambs. If it's all shot up like that, there's no point trying to take it out. It's full of fragments of bone and bullet, so just leave it. Alright, same again on the other side. Okay, so the white bit in there, you go like that. 